because engineering, as we know, is the application of science to the needs of humanity. It is a noble calling. It is a rigorous field of study and an exacting profession. There's no guessing in civil engineering. Civil engineers, through the exercise of their vocation, tirelessly provide for humanity by striving for the public good. They design, not they, you, you design and supervise the construction of roads, of buildings, of airports, of tunnels, of dams and bridges, water supplies, sewage systems, everything that makes life possible. Civil engineers are innovators that constantly push, push the boundaries of what is possible and what may be. From the pyramids of Egypt to the Empire State Building, civil engineers have always faced the challenges of the future, advancing civilizations and building on our good quality of life. It is among the few professions by which an individual can actually improve the lives of others. And let me give you a quick quote about President Herbert Hoover who once said, engineering is a great profession. There is the satisfaction of watching a figment of the imagination emerge through the aid of science to a plan on paper. Then it moves to the realization in stone or metal or energy. Then it brings homes to men and women. Then it elevates the standard of living and adds to the comforts of life. This is the engineer's high privilege. 